Good morning everybody, it's Chip Walton. First snow day of 2010, November 13, 2010. It's been snowing for about seven hours. It's supposed to snow all day, so what better way to spend an indoor snow day than brewing my first two at one batch. I'm going to brew the Northwood Pale Ale that you saw in episode three. Um, but I'm going to use the Neo Brit yeast and see what happens with that. And I'm doing the 1554 clone from this month's issue of BYO. We've got a starter going for that of Bohemian Lager. The Neo Brit is just going to come straight out of the pack because it is swollen and ready to go. Some of Dawson's Yard Hops are going to be going into that. So this should be interesting. I've never done this. I'm not going to stagger them and do one behind the other. I'm going to try as hard as possible to do them at the same time or at least maybe a half hour apart. The biggest problem will probably come with war chilling, but since it's obviously cold enough to look like that outside, perhaps I can just drop it off out one outside while I figure out what's going on with the other one. So, two for all. Here's a little update. It's still snowing pretty crazy. My windows are fogged up because I've got different processes of a couple of boils going down. Over here, steaming away, hoping to hit a hard boil so I can drop in this wart chiller um, to the Northwood 1945. And this is the beginning stage of 1554, which smells and definitely looks kind of like what I think it would. It's a beautiful brown, deep, deep brown. You can tell that it's not going to be dead, so that's pretty much how I would explain that beer if I had to explain it. So I'm happy. It's snowing. Start as a going. Let's get it. Dawson's Yard Hops have been busted into one ounce chunks. One of them's already in there. This is for Flame Out. Alright, gotta get the war chiller in the first one. About 20 minutes later, Pale left side is war chillin uh, not war chillin the war chiller has just been put in and I'm trying to hit one more good boil for flame out hops over here the 1554 slow hand sparged <clears throat> and coming up to boil temp so we're definitely in the middle of it we're use the first runnings I guess for lack of a better term of your war chill to heat up the next batch's malt bottle. Easier to pour. Heck yeah. Another tip, then use the wort chiller run off into its own ice bath. The stove is empty. The second beer is cooling. There's the beers. Two for all.